Aviation Interiors, a company situated in the Kimgrad Technopolis of Tatarstan, started a substantial investment initiative in 2023 to improve its production facilities. The primary objective of this program is to guarantee a consistent supply of interior kits for new Russian passenger aircraft throughout the year. Aviation Interiors specializes in the fabrication and installation of aircraft interiors. The company is headquartered at Kazan International Airport and offers a diverse array of services, such as the refurbishment of VIP and commercial aircraft interiors, cabin reconfiguration, and the production of high-quality furnishings that are specifically designed to meet the requirements of the aviation industry. The organization is a component of the broader aviation ecosystem in Tatarstan, which includes companies such as Tulpar Aero Group. Tatarinform reports that the organization intends to manufacture more than 20 interior modules for the SJ-100 and 36 kits for the MC-21 each year. A growing demand for aircraft interiors that are both modern and of high quality was the reason for this project. The development of Russia's aviation industry is primarily focused on the production of new aircraft. Rustam Minikhanov, the president of the Republic of Tatarstan, conveyed the view that the nation must take a proactive approach to increasing its aircraft production. He underscored the necessity of bolstering the technical capabilities, fostering the development of local manufacturers, and enhancing their global competitiveness. A critical aspect of our work is the ability to produce interiors independently. Without our own production, we won't be able to rely on self-sufficient aircraft manufacturing in the future, said Minikhanov. He added, in Kazan, we plan to produce at least 20 aircraft, including the Superjet, MC-21, and other domestic models. Today, we are optimistic and well-equipped. At present, Aviation Interiors maintains operations at two locations, Kazan Airport and the Kimgrad Technopolis. The Kimgrad facility is dedicated to the production of interiors for the SJ-100 and MC-21 aircraft. In the immediate future, the company intends to manufacture a minimum of six interior modules for each aircraft model. This demonstrates the company's commitment to expanding its product line and satisfying market demands. The company's strategy is based on the development of in-house interior production, which is a critical component of the sustainable growth of aviation in the region. The interiors of the MC-21 aircraft were previously designed with the assistance of Zodiac Aerospace, specifically through its C&D Zodiac division, which is located in Huntington Beach, California. Zodiac Aerospace prioritized cabin furnishings, constructing a passenger-friendly design that included customizable LED illumination, in-flight entertainment, larger windows, and advanced pressurization at 6,000 feet to improve overall flight comfort. Pininfarina, an Italian design firm that is known for its industrial and automotive designs, was responsible for the interior design of the Sukhoi SSJ-100. The objective of this collaboration was to develop a cabin that improves the visual appeal, spaciousness, and comfort of passengers. The SSJ-100 interiors encompass a quieter cabin environment, large overhead luggage bins, adjustable LED illumination, and wider seats arranged in a 3 plus 2 configuration. Even in 2013, these designs were recognized with a Red Dot Design Award for their harmonious blend of flair and functionality. Furthermore, furthermore, BE Aerospace supplied the interiors for specific variants of the SSJ-100 that feature customizable compartment layouts, thereby facilitating the development of flexible configurations that can be tailored to the specific needs of different airlines. Now, do you think the production is sufficient as the aircraft to be manufactured per year is almost triple that number? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.